about to unbox our drip depot delivery that's going to contain our drip irrigation supplies. Hose, mm -hmm. quarter inch. Okay. Right here we got the solenoid valve. We got our half inch hose, three quarter. Our hole poker. Pocket punch. Connector. Plugs. Three quarter to one half T. Clamps. Anchors or stakes. End of the line caps for the bigger hoses. Pressure reducer. 90s for the half inch tubing. Three quarter inch hose to male NPT. What did they send us? Lollipops and a thank you card. That's adorable. Tootsie Pops. I don't think Tootsie Pops are plant based. <laughs> okay, so on this bed, I'm probably gonna bring it here. Okay, mm -hmm. through the side, past the four by four, mm -hmm. and bring it up and go down. Okay. All the way under, under the thing. Yeah, we're gonna try to conceal the drip line, the main drip line, that way. Yeah, I don't know, fairly simple. Okay. We just gotta do it. All right, then let's do it. <laughs> The white I have in my hand is the vertical pipe. Mm -hmm. uh, and then we're gonna put a horizontal one running across the bed. If it looks like Luis is working harder than he should have to, to push these together, he did suffer a grave injury last night, making a spring roll. <laughs> he's On the mandolin. He's lost half of his supply of blood at least. And we both almost fainted this morning when he took off the band-aid. <laughs> so as you can see, we have run our half-inch supply line through the bottom of the bed up into the inside. And now we're going to run another half inch supply line perpendicular to this one down the length of the bed. It'll be hidden underneath the seating ledge that we have here. And then off of that is going to run the rows of quarter inch drip hose. So we have the horizontal run of half inch supply tubing going through this bed. We have not installed the drip lines, which are going to be quarter inch running perpendicular to that supply line. And the reason that we have not done so is because we're going to wait to see how the placement of the plants and the beds actually pans out before we put those in. We're going to be rotating the crops through the beds so that they're only planted in the same one every three years. So we need to be able to move the irrigation so that it matches the spacing of the plants that were placed in each bed. So we're going to be able to do that because of the 90 degree angle that Luis installed here on this corner where it comes up from the ground and into the bed. So we're going to be able to rotate the irrigation as we rotate the crops. 
Luis is installing the end of line cap for the three quarter tubing. That's coming from the main line plumbing in the house. We might eventually put some berry bushes in this area and we would be able to extend the line to water them if we ever did do that. Bed three, done. <laughs> <laughs> That is a snake that I almost just cut with a pair of hedge clippers trying to trim up all the roots in this trench Luis is digging. In case you're wondering why we weren't just planting in the ground, this is a root situation. But this little guy scared the bejesus out of me. So we've dug a trench from the beds. I should say Luis has dug a trench all the way to this area of our house under the steps going up to the kitchen on the outside and there is a crawl space that we can access from inside. So we're going to tap into the plumbing that's nearby on the other side of this wall and that will supply our drip irrigation. And then in this trench we are also going to run, what is it, power over ethernet? Two ethernet cables. Two ethernet One cables. One's going to be used to power an Arduino. We're planning on putting together our Garduino or I coined, I didn't coin that term, but somebody else we watched on YouTube did, which is going to measure air temperature, soil temperature, um, moisture in the ground, and probably also light, but I'm not quite sure about that. And one ethernet is gonna be used to power and give data to the Arduino, and the other one is actually gonna go to the solenoid um, which will power the valve on and off depending on the moisture of the beds yeah all right kayla is going into the abyss i want my family to know that i love them that's pretty much it okay i got nothing else what about me well given that we're married i think you're included in that elite group okay all right okay Time one more. Oh. Step on the on the. There you go. Ugh. Goodbye, cruel world. Uh, my gloves. So this is where we keep the bodies. <laughs> Come This is the creature who lives under a house. <laughs> Can I get the drill? Oh my god! Wow! <laughs> Look, wait, let's all appreciate this tool. He's going to the center of the earth. Let's go! I think I made it. Good. 
Just finished burying the three-quarter supply line for the irrigation and the ethernet cable that's gonna bring, is it power as well as data? Yeah. It's gonna bring power and ethernet to the Arduino and all our little sensors and things. So this was a ton of work, burying this, drilling a hole in the side of the house. <sighs> what do you say? <laughs> it's supposed to rain tomorrow, so we really had to finish this before it did. So that's nice. Really want some pizza. This is done, I guess, as much as I can do okay. by pre-building. I peeled two cables, the blue and the brown. You need a common wire and then you need the other wire. And we'll use those two. If we don't have enough wire, what I'll do is peel the whole cable and connect two collars. Okay, we're back outside in the raised beds. I'm praying I never have to go in our crawl space again, so I'm very excited to be outside. And we're going to be laying out some of the drip tape to actually water the crops that we have going in the beds so far. Let's go. for joining us in our video about drip irrigation in our raised beds. As soon as we get these guys in the ground, we're going to be adding some more drip lines to get them watered, but for now we've got another frost coming, so that will be in an upcoming video. Stay tuned for more videos as we continue to improve our home 
and our garden. Thanks for joining and we'll see you in the next one. Peace. <laughs>